Let's continue with a brief introduction to Aspen Hysis. We're going to talk about this beautiful uh, software right here. How do we use it? Why do we use it? Comparisons and benefits of simulations via Aspen Hysis software, okay? So, okay, a little bit on Aspen Hysis. Why do engineers use Aspen Hysis, especially on, I don't know, maybe petrochemical companies or so? And many students or Many people ask me all the time, why do we use or when do we use Aspen Hysis and when do we use Aspen Plus? Well, that depends a lot on the type of process, the type of simulations. Many times you only have one software right here, for instance, Plus or the other, maybe Hysis. So I cannot teach you a way to choose a program. So we're going to know what's the difference between them. But I would say overall, both softwares are awesome and benefits on simulation. Now, a little bit on uh, Aspen Hysis is, I took this from the website, you can find it here. Um, they have plenty of products, but I will say one of the most important ones are Aspen Hysis and Aspen Plus. So Aspen Hysis is the energy industry's leading process simulation software that's used by top oil and top gas producers. This is true. This is not a marketing stuff. This is actually true. I've been in my exchange, when I was an exchange student in Germany, I was modeling this process. I was in INEOS or INEOS, and they took plenty of processes and they had Aspen Hysis and Aspen Plus. Actually, they had Aspen Plus mostly. And they used to model naphtha and cyclopentane, isopentane, butane, very light fractions of petroleum. And they used Aspen Hysis. So it was awesome to actually know that this software is actually used in the industry. It's not just a theoretical process. It's actually used in the plant itself, in refineries, or plenty of other engineering, especially consulting engineering or maybe fine chemistry engineering processes. And this is mainly because we can optimize processes. Everyone wants to get optimization. Optimization implies less cost for better yields. So for instance, uh, or avoid many, let's say you're working with a very high temperature. Let's check out how we can lower the temperature without sacrificing properties on the product, okay? And we can review the design specifications. For instance, if you have a heat exchanger right here, and you're using these size of tubes and uh, you can ask yourself, well, maybe if we change the tubing, the sizing, the design, we can actually increase the heat transfer efficiency and so on. Now, let's talk a little bit on versions. I currently have version 8.8, .8, which was launched on May 2015. The most recent version is actually version number 10. So after eight comes nine, which is probably 2016 and the last one is 2017 so probably in 2018 that is this year you will get version 11. The main difference between versions I would say besides the ordering and the overall facade let's say or the overall distribution of buttons is that they add and start giving extra little uh, user-friendly buttons or more technical stuff simulation get better processes and so on. But overall, the whatever version you have, it's good enough to process, uh, simulate a process, okay? So don't worry if you have version seven, which sometimes I get students that they, the university they're working on, it has only version seven. And I will tell them, well, besides the, how it looks, actually, it's not that user-friendly, but it can still model very well if you take this course version 8 it's very similar to the inputs you have and well version 10 i watch it myself and it's pretty similar to the let's say facade you, you see the same things maybe i would say it's not that much different because it's like windows once you have windows xp and you go to vista well okay, okay they change a little bit but the overall stuff, maybe how it works, the operating system is the same. So you can get to know one version, know how to work on it. And when you get another version, you just need to get used to that version. And maybe it takes you one, two or three days 
but after that you will still know the basics on simulation okay you want to check out more technical differences you can go here on what's new otherwise i can show you uh, what i think is the most important aspect on version so you can check out version 9 right here actually you can go directly here what's new or the bottom in the aspen heises software check out what's new essentially is let's say refinery planning models are easier to update so well i mean that's okay i mean it's not that a huge advancement advancement but it's okay improvements to acid gas cleaning so maybe of course if you're in this industry that will be awesome otherwise well you don't care that much on this improvement i mean it's always get good to get improvements but it's not that let's say critical reduced risk with the software recovery modeling okay get a more detailed view of your distillation columns actually this is a good point overall the distillation columns are a little bit more detailed on version 9. version 10 i haven't worked that much on version 10 because we only got some few computers on that we got mostly computers with version 8 but you can read them here as stated before it's little improvements for instance calibrate models with plant data more accuracy of for these specific processes new solvents for the acid gas cleaning so once again if you know the basics other uh, if you're not in this specific process i will say don't worry about the version you're using just get to know the basics on process modeling okay now let's check out the main difference between aspen plus and aspen high sys i actually prefer well depending but overall i think plus is more like intuitive for or user friendly user friendly it's easier for a new student to understand Aspen Plus than Aspen Heises. Aspen Heises, you need to have more, um, let's say, less intuition and more simulation based mind. So I will definitely, if you're starting, you can check out Aspen Plus. Otherwise, Aspen Heises is still very good and I really recommend both. There are different scopes, but different type of processes. And actually, that's what I will say. What type of process are you modeling? If, I will recommend you Aspen Plus, especially if you are doing fine chemistry or non-petroleum chemistry. If you are using non-ideal models, they have very good models because Aspen Heises is much more for the petroleum or petrochemical parts, so they don't take that much more into account. You're using electrolytes or if you use of you prefer a equation oriented mode especially if you are running simulations you can set up the process run and start and pause and so on so aspen heises does not has that so implicit now when do i recommend aspen heises well mainly if you are doing a petrochemical process you can have upstreams downstreams which is not included in aspen plus or at least not that directly or user friendly if you are working in the oil industry, well, of course, I will definitely recommend Aspen Heises. This is this is the simulation program that was built for. Now, if you're going to use assays, especially mixtures of petroleum, well, Aspen Plus, you can model them, but you will get much more confused. You need more input. It's not that friendly. So if you have already, if you're working with petroleums, let's say you have different petroleums, one of Europe and the other one is from Asia and you want to compare them how do they uh, work on the on your distillation column fractionation column whatever well I will definitely recommend you work with the assays which are already present in Aspen Heises and refinery reactors of course once you split this in this distillation column you will want to work with catalytic reformers or whatever re refinery unit operation you require, I will definitely recommend you Aspen Heises.